Basically, uh, APIs are a part of the plumbing of the internet. Every business in the world now is starting to understand they need an API to better communicate with their partners, with their customers, and that involves developers. Actually building a community of developers is a very hard thing. Hitch has been built to help organizations build uh, communities of developers both internal and um, external of their organization. So we want to basically help anyone that builds technology to have better relationship with developers that work with their, their tools. Um, so our type, we, we're a B2B business. Uh, we focus on helping developers um, in all parts of the world utilize APIs. What we're monetizing is helping organizations to better um, manage those relationships, whether they're consuming APIs or providing APIs. Um, so what we're focused on at this stage of our business is validating the enterprise scale of it. So closing big clients, like our first big client is Atlassian. Obviously a global giant from Australia, where I'm from. Um, but we're focused on these enterprise clients, but we're building out products right now to have clients of different stages. But it's all B2B um, target that we have. The people that make, make the um, procurement decision vary from organization to organization, depending on size. But generally there's a, a development manager or we're finding more and more product managers are much more aware of what APIs are and they're making the procurement decisions. So small organizations, it's the CTO, large organizations, it's managers that look after specific products. Well, the thing is we, we don't focus on, we define ourselves by um, working in the API world. But APIs is basically the current uh, term used to connect computers, to connect services. Um, this whole area is exploding and every investor in the world, like I'm sure ITNIG with many of the companies here, are trying to build platforms. What Hitch is focused on is helping organizations that are building platforms, whether that's Twitter, who we work with, Atlassian, or smaller medium businesses, <clears throat> to better go down the path of building a platform and engaging that audience. So every investor in the world is investing in platforms. So this market is exploding. Every technology organization wants to build a platform. Um, so we think it's going to be a standard. The way we saw web browsers a while ago were not common for everyone. Um, people were just starting to understand them. APIs are in that space right now. So we think it's going to become mass market at some point in time. However, it will not be called an API. It's going to have a different name. Hopefully we can shape that name. Um, but having a system to connect other systems uh, we think it's going to be mainstream for any major corporate, any small business and individuals actually connecting smart devices or whatever else they may have. So it's an enormous market. Um, so we expect to acquire customers through a few key channels. Bruno and I have worked in the API world for many years now. Bruno longer than myself, but I've been in this space and we know a lot of people. So our initial clients are uh, coming through our network the validation clients. Second of all, uh, we ha recently had a launch on TechCrunch, we've been on Programmable Web and some other media resources, and we've got a, a waiting list of customers at this moment in time. Uh, so we're working with them very closely to ensure our product matches their needs at this point in time. So we're not doing massive growth right now in terms of revenue, we're trying to make sure we're getting the product market fit or getting close to that, and then we'll be accelerating around that. But one of the key pieces of what we provide is we help uh, end users to understand um, what third-party APIs are doing and we want to convert them into paid users which because they're producing APIs as well. So we're actually building a community that will help us accelerate our growth of acquiring paid users if that makes sense. Well there was a transition of uh, Bruno and I started uh, the business before it was called Hitch was called API Changelog. This was a side project Bruno and I were doing. We got validation from some big major brands. We were working with Twitter, some Microsoft products, Spotify, and other organizations like this. So this was a side project. We both worked elsewhere. Uh, we then realized there was something major in the, in the product offering we had. We went to Seed Camp in London. We joined Seed Camp, and then during the Seed Camp process, we met Connect Ventures, who's our primary investor. 
So going through that process of having validation from SeedCamp, having validation from major clients, closing my first enterprise deal for the organization, those pieces are what came together to, to get investment because they saw that we had smart people around us saying, yes, it's relevant. The market was saying, yes, it's relevant. And we had someone saying, yes, I'm ready to pay. So those are the core components of how we got to, to the investment, which was led by Connect Ventures. Um, well, it depends on how you define C. Um, Bruno and I have been uh, in startups for some time. So we know lots of the VCs, both in Spain and in, in London primarily. Um, we were not being really aggressive on reaching out to many VCs. However, Seed Camp in the process helped us accelerate the number of conversations we were having. Um, so there wasn't enormous, there was tens of VCs that were spoken to, not hundreds. Normally you've got to go to hundreds to get one deal closed. Uh, so this was a fairly accelerated conversation this time around. So 10, 20 VCs were spoken to um, at different levels of conversations. Um, and Connect uh, Ventures was the best conversation that Bruno and I liked. And obviously they responded positively as well. And that relationship uh, evolved over a few months to them finally giving us a, a term sheet. So Connect Ventures, um, we like them for a number of key reasons. Uh, one is they are very product focused and they're very um, focused on a very early stage. So they, they liked our validation with major brands, primarily in the United States. Um, they liked Bruno and I and our experience and they liked what we'd built already on minimal resources. So there was very little investment early on. So bringing those three elements together, they understood from our perspective what it actually takes to get a startup off the ground and they didn't have some obscure requirements which many VCs do have of having enormous growth, enormous revenue. So I think they had a very good understanding of our stage. They have a tiny team as well. Uh, so there's three partners. Uh, when, we, when they invested in us, there's still three of them. They now have a few more staff. So they're very small, very agile, very direct. Uh, they told us very clearly what they didn't like and what they did like. And we like that clarity of conversation. Uh, we prefer to have the exposed problems rather than hide them um, on both sides and work on those together. Bill, who's the partner that works with us, uh, we find him very straightforward. He helps when, he, when we require help and he doesn't make us do extra homework like other VCs do. So that clarity um, of conversation and communication with them was key. Um, but also we liked a few other things like they invested in City Mapper from London. They also invested in the other superstar from uh, Barcelona, or well, not the other superstar, we're not there yet, but Typeform, they invested in Typeform, they're very interested in Barcelona. Um, so those are just a few things that came together, but Bruno and I felt um, they were business partners joining this process rather than VCs telling us what to do and we, we like that clear communication with them. So that, that's how we selected them. Another component was um, they're based in London, um, where we've got most of our team in Barcelona, but they have access to resources as we accelerate and grow that can also help us. So our, our objective is, as, a, uh, as a company is um, we're a British company and we're a Spanish company. And you know, in the modern day, you can have teams in different locations. Our current focus at this stage of the business is building our core development resources and design resources in Barcelona, because we think there's great resources around. There's a great lifestyle. Uh, from a business perspective, you can get great staff at reasonable prices, um, which is obviously a key component. We're not saying where we want to be cheap, but you've got to have a decision when you get an investment of where your staff are coming from and we like to find amazing staff uh, in this location. We think Barcelona is finally moving after a few years um, of being in the startup scene. There really is some great momentum coming out of Barcelona. So our focus is to build our core team of development and design in Barcelona. Going forward as any you know, very tech focused, we're developer focused business, we need to have um, some people on the ground in, in London in San Francisco, more on the sales and marketing side. But at this point, we're, we're Barcelona focused in terms of our, our core development uh, of the product. 
we're recruiting. We have raised some funds recently, which we're excited as we discussed with Connect Ventures. Um, we're recruiting in, in wonderful Barcelona. Uh, we're building a, a team of amazing technical and design people that are really trying to address this whole challenge of what APIs are and how the real world is going to inter um, interact with those. We want to take it out of the purely super technical range into more accessible for everyone that, that operates in a business to understand how you can integrate systems and how you can really understand and have clarity on, on the value that can bring to your business. So we're looking for amazing yet yeah, design and technical staff. Um, we're also, we're just building our customer success team as well, which has been led out of Barcelona. Um, so we're, we're always delighted to hear from people that are interested in joining us on, on that journey of redefining how systems uh, integrate and how people around the world can get value from that.